Hello and welcome to another training tutorial on repeaterbook.com and this one specifically is about uh, programming your Anytone 868 and 878 radios. Uh, those two radios seem to be the most popular for exporting data out of Repeaterbook uh, into those radios. I know there's many other radios and we're working to support them all, but this particular training will be on the, uh, on the Anytone 868 and 878. Before we get started, I just want to point out here on the repeaterbook.com homepage, you're going to notice uh, we have a, a wiki over here. The wiki is full of information about how Repeaterbook works. Uh, and I just want to show you that you can find information about the 868 and the 878 radio. So I'm going to type in 868 here. And it's going to bring me in here to uh, the Anytone 868. And this is the specific page for the CPS. Uh, here you will find the current status of the export um, engine for the 868. So, um, you know, we're supported by BridgeCom systems here. So we have a link to BridgeCom to get the uh, current CPS. So you come on here and you can see that the current CPS file is uh, 1.36. Uh, and we have 1.39. So there must be one or newer than one point. 39 um, or 1.36. There's 1.37. Uh, oh, here we go. Any tone version. There it is. 1.39 right there. So we point over to them. You can get the current uh, CPS from them or your favorite uh, vendor. Uh, below that information, you can see uh, the supported searches. So the different pages that uh, we support the export on and and their availability. Uh, below that shows all the different fields that we export and how we uh, populate them so you can kind of see the logic of what we're doing. And then the export notes. The export notes here, the, what's important to note is that the Anytone 868 and 878 radios can only handle FM and DMR. They don't work with NXDN, they don't work with DSTAR, they don't work with System Fusion. So we automatically filter those modes out. So if the repeater record that you are downloading does not support DMR or FM, we filter that out. The reason why I mention that is many times we get emails saying, hey, I just downloaded uh, a page at 50 repeaters. And I only have 49 repeaters being exported. Why is that? You go back and look, you'll see that one of the repeaters was DSTAR only. We filtered that. So you don't have to. What's the point of downloading a D-Star repeater into your Anytone radio. So um, we don't have just the 868, we also have the 878. Same format here when it comes up. Oh, the watch pot never boils. Here we go. 878, click on that. Same format as the 868 comes up. Uh, this is very important here that repeater book export has been tested with version 1.22. The CPS format changed with 1.22 and may not be backward compatible. So we just found out last week that uh, Anytone changed the format and it broke the export. We got emails coming in, let us know. We turned around and fixed it, got it back up and running. I don't know if it works with 1.21 and, and older, but the current TPS version is 1.22 and uh, we do support uh, 1.22. So. Just so you're aware of that, you can always get a current status on that. Um, and um, if it's not working, send us an email, post in the forum, and uh, we'll get looking at it and see if we can get it back running. But let's get back into now how we actually uh, do the export and the import into the radio. So here on this page, it's a DMR search for all DMR repeaters in Oregon. So you can see here modes, DMR, come all the way down, and I have 27 DMR repeaters. So I'm gonna go up here to export, and uh, I wanna export um, the talk group file. So what a talk group file is, and if I open up here the CPS for uh, the, the 878, the 868 is very similar, but uh, you go to import, and you get this uh, pop-up here that has all the import file list. And one of them is talk group. So you can click on talk group here and uh, you go pick the file. See, I got talk groups in here. 
and uh, you can load that that file right in. So uh, when I uh, click on the export and I choose a talk root file and I pick Brandmeister, it's going to bring up a CSV. And this CSV file is already in the format that the Anytel needs to import. You'll have all the uh, all of the talk groups that Brandmeister supports. Um, this can be useful for Brandmeister because Brandmeister repeaters tend to be dynamic and meaning you can choose from the whole list of Brandmeister talk groups to use. Uh, the DMR Mark style repeaters, uh, they uh, are limited on the talk groups and many of them can't go over a certain number, 16 or 20, whatever the number is, they can't go over the number. So downloading the full talk group list for uh, DMR Mark may not be as beneficial to you but you can still do that. Uh, just go in here uh, and we handle the Moto DMR and we also handle exporting all of the TGIF um, talk groups also. So not as many as the TGIF talk groups, but uh, there's still a good number, 353. Um, download them all, put them right into that, right into that file. Uh, the other one here is the channel file. So going back over to the CPS, and I hit tool import. The channel file is this one, and that is your list of repeaters. So you're going to, going to take the export and you're going to import it into the channel file. So back on repeater book, I hit export, any tone, and this is the 878. So I hit download file, and we're going to come up with a, an intermediate page here, and we're, we're going to choose our export parameters. So um, Back on the search result page, you know, these headers here are sortable. You can sort by frequency, you can sort by tone, and location, uh, call sign, that's, that's a popular one. Um, however you'd like to sort it, you can sort it. But when you hit export, uh, those sort parameters are not brought over to the export. So many people wanted to be able to choose the order and sorting that the data had when they imported into the radio. So I created this page. Uh, first thing you can do is you can name the memory bank. So uh, many people like to name the repeater by the call sign. Um, you know, I like city, uh, but what if two repeaters are located in the same city? In Portland, you could have five, six, seven, whatever. So then you can uh, have it sort by, or have it, have it be location and then frequency right behind it so you know which repeater it is. Uh, on the sort order, uh, maybe you want it to be by frequency, but if you have two that are the same frequency, maybe you want it to uh, win the tie with which city comes first. So knock yourself out on that, make that how you want that, and then you hit agree to use the data for personal use only. What this means is you don't intend to use it for commercial purposes to make money on it. You're not going to make your own repeaterbook.com website. Um, you're not going to sell the data. If you're going to use it for your radio, that's a no-brainer. Um, but any other usage, just let us know and we'll approve it. But uh, but that's what that means. So I go ahead and hit download, and I get this Excel file that pops up now. And you'll see the channel names are just like I asked, call sign and city. And it is sorting by frequency all the way down the list. I've got 27 repeaters. That's the same number of repeaters that were on the, the search. So these are ready to be imported. Now one thing you should do uh, is you need to uh, close this file before you import it into your radio. So make sure you close it and then come back over to your CPS, tool, import, OK, and then choose the channel file. It's this one right here. I hit import. Import complete. Boom, there it is. All of my channels are now in there. Now that does not end your uh, building of your CPS. I mean, you're going to have to build a whole lot more. But look at all this now that you didn't have to enter in. So I've got you started. Uh, go in and fix it. You're going to need to fix your radio ID. I mean, obviously you're not KD6KPC, so you're probably going to need to come in here and fix that radio ID. Uh, but uh, in any event, Good to go. If any questions, put them down below. We'll try to answer them. 
uh, hopefully we give you a, a good primer on, on how it works with repeater book and, and uh, exporting. So talk to you later. This is KD6KPC signing off.